This is the Seven Figure Agency Podcast. Discover the strategies and techniques to grow a highly successful and profitable digital marketing agency with your host, Josh Nelson. What's up, digital marketing agency owner? In today's video, I want to walk you through a really important high level concept called the revenue ceiling. And so, if you've ever felt like you grew your agency and you were just crushing it, but at some point you hit what almost felt like an invisible ceiling, where it's like no matter what you did, no matter what your team did, no matter what strategies you put in place, you didn't feel like you could continue to grow. On this video, I'm going to explain why that's happening and what you can do to get around it. So you're going to want to watch this video. All right, so I want to unpack this concept called the revenue ceiling formula, and it's gonna help you understand a really, really important concept around why your business, why your agency is getting stuck at certain plateaus and at certain sticking points in your growth. As I think about it, like as you grow and scale your your digital marketing agency, there's lots of things you have to solve for, right? You've gotta get your marketing and sales in place, which is how you market yourself to get clients. And then you've got to dial in your client onboarding and your actual deliverables, like the things you do for the client and how that work gets done. Um, and then you've got your account managers you've got to hold accountable and your, your team, you've got to start to become a good team leader as you grow and as you scale and you've got to keep that team engaged, you've got to keep them excited. Um, and then you've got to have good leadership within the organization to keep the team pressing forward. And what we find with most agencies, kind of as they grow and as they scale, they, they hit these plateaus. They hit these ceilings where they have to make adjustments, where they have to make pivots to get to the next level. And so typically, like we get good at sales and we implement our sales and marketing strategy and we're off to the races. But then we recognize, oh, we don't really have our onboarding dialed in yet. Or we like we don't have somebody in place to handle the client relationship. And so we got to kind of toggle between selling and now figuring that out, either doing it ourselves or hiring a team for it. And this happens throughout all of the stages of your growth. Like at some point you recognize, oh, you know what? I need to build account managers. Oh, I need to dial in our systems and procedures. Oh, we need to go back and do whatever it is that needs to happen next. And the quicker you are at recognizing the stuck point and then making the necessary adjustment, the the quicker you can move through those plateaus. And obviously having, you know, access to people that have solved those problems and that have accomplished those, you know, those outcomes that you're after can help you, right? People like me at the Seven Figure Agency and our coaches and mentors have been down that track, have solved those problems, are going to kind of help shortcut that for you. But typically, you're going to wind up at some point, whether it's at seventy thousand or one hundred and fifty thousand or five hundred thousand, you're going to wind up with a long area of time potentially where you're you're not moving forward anymore. And as we kind of studied our Seven Figure Agency members and try to figure out like. Where, where are clients getting stuck? Where are members kind of growing and then plateauing? And you know, one of our members, Chris Rodriguez, works with dojos, you know, martial arts studios, has had explosive growth. You can check out her interview if you type Chris Rodriguez, Seven Figure Agency, uh, C R I S. But she she was kind of stuck at a point. I think she had grown to two hundred seventy thousand dollars in monthly recurring revenue, and she was kind of stuck there for for quite some time. And she came to a realization and she posted it in her Facebook group, this idea of the, of the revenue ceiling and kind of the, the mathematical formula behind it. I'm going to walk you through it here in a second. There's also a great video by Alex Hermosi where he explains this concept just kind of in abstract and in any business, how it applies. And it got me thinking about how does this apply to digital marketing agencies? How does this apply to my experience as I grew my agency? And how is it applied to the other agencies that we've worked with? And I I found it to be very accurate, to be very true. And so this is the revenue ceiling formula. Uh, Ultimately, you've got to figure out a couple things. What's your average revenue per client? So that's your average monthly revenue. And then you want to figure out what your churn rate is. And you're going to divide the average monthly revenue by the churn rate. And that gives you your lifetime customer value, right? And so if you've got a pen and paper here, I wanted to write this down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to multiply your lifetime customer value by the number of new clients that you're getting every single month. Are you landing five clients a month? Are you adding 10 clients a month? Are you adding 20 clients per month? Whatever the number is for you, that lifetime customer value by your average number of clients per month 
actually spits out a number which turns out to be your revenue ceiling. Now, kind of complicated for me to explain this to you in the abstract here on a video. I do have a spreadsheet that I put together that explains exactly how to plug this in and how to really ascertain, you know, like what does this mean? Where's my revenue stuck point? Like what do I need to do next in order to move through this? And you can access that at sevenfigureagency.com slash ceiling. And if you type in ceiling video here in the comments, I've got another video uh, where I kind of walk you through how it works, how to plug it in. But you can access that at sevenfigureagency.com slash ceiling. And what you're going to find as you plug this in is something very, very interesting. What you're gonna find is there's only three variables you can change in order to break through the ceiling. Like as you solve for your operational issues, as you solve for certain things. One thing you can change is to reduce your churn. Like let's get less clients leaving every single month. Number two is you can increase your average value per client. Or number three, you can get more clients, right? And as I think about our growth within Plumbing and HVAC SEO, our agency, we grew to about, we grew to about $65,000, $70,000 in monthly recurring revenue. And we kind of stuck there for a little bit. And we we're like, well, like, what's going on? We're kind of stuck here. We're at a plateau. And what I realized was we had a churn problem. Like despite how good we were with our SEO, we, we were dropping balls and how well we were communicating with our clients how well we were engaging with them. And I think our churn was somewhere around seven or 8% average, seven or 8% average monthly churn. And so we was like, what do we do to improve this, right? And so we focused on our client onboarding. We focused on our client communication. We focused on really knocking it out of the park for our clients and getting them tangible results that they saw the value of. And we saw our churn rate drop. And so as that churn rate dropped, and if you type this into the revenue ceiling formula, you'll see when you reduce your churn, your ceiling goes up, right? And so it's like, bam, there we go. We unlocked a new threshold of revenue growth. And what's interesting is that that churn rate, eventually the reason it happens is, let's say you're landing five clients per month, right? And you're landing five clients per month and it's steady, solid growth. Up until, let's just say you get to 100 clients. Once you've got 100 clients, if you're churning 5%, that would mean you're losing five clients every month. So at that stage in the game, you're losing five, you're gaining five. All you can do is either sell more, sell them at a higher monthly fee, or reduce the churn, like get that churn down. Now, the other important thing that you can change within your, your seal to break through a ceiling is the average that you get per client. So in our world, we also got stuck around $150,000, $160,000 a monthly recurring, kind of at that $2 million mark. And our churn wasn't too bad. Our average new client was kind of in pace. It was working well, but we still weren't growing. And so we looked back and we said, okay, we're charging $1,500 per month. We're losing clients and they're falling off at about $1,500 per month. We've added a lot of new value, right? We're, we've got better SEO people. We've got better pay-per-click people. We're building better websites. We're getting better results. We've got more social proof. Let's raise that price. And we bumped it up to $2,200 per month, right? And so now, because we're selling new clients at $2,250, we're losing the old ones at $1,500, despite the fact that our number of churned clients is about the same, we're actually ahead every single month because of that metric, because our average value per client has increased. Now, at a certain level, you know, like, you know what? We've got our churn down. We've got our average client maximized. The only other thing we can do is go get more clients, right? And so that's increasing the marketing, building your sales team, putting an outbound engine potentially in place. And, uh, you know, if your churn is pinned in at 3%, you've optimized your average per client to whatever the, the max in the market is that you can confidently sell the next thing you need to solve for is, is landing enough clients to be well ahead of that growth formula. So hopefully this makes sense. This was a, a game changer for me and a lot of the seven figure agency members. And so I wanted to share this. Again, if you wanna plug these numbers in, go to sevenfigureagency.com slash ceiling and you'll see, put in exactly what your average, churn, uh, average value is per client, put in what your average monthly churn is. If you're not tracking this, you need to start to track this. You can't improve what you don't measure. Uh, and that'll give you your lifetime customer value, an important metric to know regardless. From there, you've got your average customer, customer lifetime value, how many clients you're selling per month, 
and that's gonna give you what your, what your revenue ceiling is, right? And maybe you're already there. Maybe you're at that 200, 300, $500,000 mark and you can't break through. That's where you gotta make these three pivots. Um, if your revenue ceiling is still way out into the future, this is still valuable to know so that when you do get there, you can course correct or you can start to make some of those course corrections now. And so just know like you need to make some strategic decisions. And if you make the decisions in the right way, in the right sequence, you can break through whatever plateau it is that you've got and continue to take your digital marketing agency to the next level. If you'd like more details on how to scale your digital marketing agency, I've got a great workbook that walks you through the key things, how to set up your accountability chart, how to put your systems and procedures in place. You can access that at sevenfigureagency.com slash scale. That's sevenfigureagency.com slash scale. Thanks so much for watching. If you got value from today's video, hit the like button. If you have follow-up questions, let me know in the comments. I look forward to talking with you again real soon.